So here's how you can tell the difference between the three most common torque converters found in a 4R100. On the far left, this is from a 5.4 V8. On the far right, this is the V10 slash 7.3 torque converter. They're the same exact torque converter. Uh, when you talk about stall speeds, a lot more goes into it than just the torque converter, the tire size, uh, weight of the truck, gearing, the power band, all that combines with the torque converter to define the stall speed for that truck. Um, that's why people, when they sell them, they use words like high speed, high stall, low stall, factory stall, that sort of thing. Uh, because they can't really tell you exactly what the stall speed is going to be unless they know all this information about your truck. Ford knows it. That's why they can advertise these different stall speeds. Um, so anyway, what are we looking at here? Well, the top halves, these are the impeller halves. This is the part, and this is the, the hub that goes into the... Uh, goes into the transmission and engages with the with the pump uh, front pump rotors um, the bottom half this is the front cover this is what you can get you can get this made you can get new ones of these this one happens to be a billet uh, machine cover in the middle here the two on the outside are the factory ones so this one here this is the so-called low stall 7.3 converter all it is is the 5R110 impeller half on a uh, 4R100 front cover. And that's what it is. It's just mixing and matching parts. It's very extremely cost prohibitive to make a an impeller or a turbine. I'll show you in a second. Um, but front covers and stators are relatively cheap um, compared to everything else. So how, do you gonna, how are you gonna know the difference? Well, you see these dimples on the outside these are telling you the, the shape of the, fin, of the impeller fin inside. So you can see on the far left, the 5.4 has like a, I don't know, it's like a 60 degree angle or something like that to the right. Pretty steep, and then it curves around like this. Um, and this is a higher stall converter. The, let's call it mid stall 7.3 V10 converter is more vertical. I mean, there is angles here, but they're very slight um, and it just kind of like wanders back and forth a little bit as it goes towards the center. The 5R, this is the low stall converter, it starts out steep to the left down here and as it works its way in the middle, it straightens up. So that's, that's how you can tell the differences just from the, the impeller on the inside. This is what it looks like inside. These are the veins, the impeller veins, and you can see how they're, it's a folded vein system. Uh, Ford uses gazillion dollar machines to stamp these things out. That's why it's not very realistic for anyone to make these. Uh, it would just cost a fortune. They would have to be able to sell a million of these to make any money. This one's completely shot. It's not rebuildable. That's why it's a prop piece here. Um, you know, people want to drive their transmissions until they die. Well, when they die is because something breaks. You either broke something inside the transmission or you destroyed your torque converter. In this case, the torque converter was destroyed. Uh, probably started with a with a overheated bearing that, that blew up. And then when something breaks, it just starts rattling around in here, spinning around. And it starts taking out other things. Like, that's why all these, these fins are bent. The stator is completely trashed. Um, these are usually you know, normal shaped fins. I mean, here's some big pieces of, uh, I think it's this one down here that broke off. And then once other things break off, then more stuff gets destroyed, more things break off. And then, it's, then the whole thing just dies. And you're left with an unrebuildable core that any savvy rebuilder is gonna charge you for because he can't use it. So I do this all the time with customers. They'll call me up, they'll say, hey, you know, I don't have a core or something like that. And I'll say, all right, well, it's, you know, I can charge you the core charge or you can try to find your own and save some money. And this is how I coach them to make sure that they find the right one. If you're shopping around for one, this is, you know, you never know what pictures you're gonna get of it. Um, but this is how you can spot them from this side. Now, if you, for some reason, have a different angle, the 5.4 V8 always has four studs. I don't wanna tilt this too far because it's probably got fluid in it. But the 5.4 V8 always has four studs. So that's another telltale sign from this side that this is not a torque converter that you want for a 7.3 truck. 
The others have six studs. Six studs, they both do. I'm not gonna flip that one up, but it looks just like this. This is also how you can spot a billet cover. As you see, it's things are more angular here. You know, it's obviously not stamped. This is machined. But now you can see things are more rounded here. That's because it's it's stamped. And that's a dead giveaway for a billet versus stamped cover. So all you really have to do is, is look at these impeller veins. I mean, you can see them in pretty much any picture they would provide you with. Sometimes they don't show you the bottom because these things are usually sitting on the ground. So you may not know that this has four studs, but you'll see this. And that's a dead giveaway. All right, one more comparison I wanted to show you. Um, so on the left, this is a factory 5R110. It's 100% 5R110. It is not a hybrid. Uh, it's got the factory stamped cover on the bottom. And this is the 5R110 impeller. We already know that from the previous portion of the video. On the right, this is uh, a rebuilt 7.3 converter. Um, it's also got a stamped cover on it. It's been rebuilt, that's why it's all pretty looking. But I wanna show you, I wanna show you what the bottom looks like. Okay, just to show you side by side, on the left here, this is a 5R110 factory stamped torque converter. On the right is a 7.3 4R100 factory stamped torque converter. So to tell the difference, if you're looking at pictures online, and you know, you're shopping for a core, um, they both have six studs. They both have these six dimples here. So how do you tell the difference? Well, the difference is, it is gonna be in the pilot hub. So this pilot actually slips inside of the, the engine's crankshaft. On the 7.3, it engages a little deeper than on the 5R for the 6L. So what, what you have here is what looks like a crank pilot that's been shoved into the torque converter. And that results in this this kind of maybe it's about three sixteenths inch deep uh, recess that you see around the hub. The 4R doesn't have that. It's got a little bit of a ripple there on the uh, the stamped covers, the billet covers. It's a it's a perfectly smooth transition, but on the stamped covers, there's a little bit of a ripple. Um, but on the 5R, it's it's pretty deep compared to the 4R. So just remember when you're looking at these things, if you see a picture of the bottom and you're looking for a 4R converter, 4R100 converter, you don't wanna see this. You wanna see something more like that. 